Not far away, in a sunny, flower-decked suburb, lives a black Russian terrier named Olive. She's out here because she needs a break from what's in there. So many coal black pups, only their fabric collars can tell them apart. There's Ava and Artie, Billy and Bob, and their nine brothers and sisters. For Olive, 13 isn't so much unlucky as exhausting. Bred in the Soviet Union in the 1950s to be guard dogs, the Black Russian Terrier is a combination of 17 other breeds, including the Giant Schnauzer, Rottweiler, and Airedale Terrier. Black Russian Terriers are working dogs, and Mom Olive is no exception. She's a reading therapy dog. Her calm and patient demeanor offers a peaceful, non-judgmental ear to readers of all ages. But peaceful's not the word when mom's off reading duty and on to lunch duty. With so many diners, there's a shortage of seats at the dinner table. And the unlucky 13th pup is left out in the cold. Meet Ferris in the red collar. Though he's tardy to the table, that won't hold this pup back. Ferris is a fighter, because with 12 siblings, you've got to fight for your spot. But first, you've got to find it. At last, Ferris fights his way in. His little sister Cleo, in the yellow, prefers a more peaceful approach to her meal. And this calm little girl gets what she wants without a fight. But for her mom of 13, if what she wants is a day of quiet, she's not likely to get it for some time. Mom Olive is enjoying some downtime during a reading therapy session. But it's tough to get much reading done with all this racket. Olive's 13 three-week-old pups are now up on their feet and all over the place. And it's wearing mom out just watching all their hustle and bustle. But at least little Cleo's making it easier for mom as she peacefully curls up with a good book. As mom gathers her terrier troop for lunch, Ferris is once again the unlucky 13th pup, missing a spot at the table. But today his luck turns when mom gets some help with dinner duty. <laughs> Sniffing out the sweet smell of snack time, <laughs> Ferris won't let anyone block his path toward the scent of something good. And this little fighter soon battles his way to the banquet. Of course, mealtime can get messy. Which makes bath time for a baker's dozen a whole lot busier for this hard-working mom. The 13 puppies are now five weeks old, and it seems 
five times more rambunctious. Mom Olive is pooped. It's time to try and lead this rowdy crew to the back doggy door and the great outdoors beyond. Little Cleo makes it easy for Mom by following dutifully behind. until she and her siblings reach the gateway to the big wide world outside. <laughs> Turns out negotiating a swinging doggy door is a lot tougher than it looks. But eventually, one by one, the pups pluck up the pep that they need and fall into step with the field trip. All but unlucky 13th pup, Ferris, who's late for the outing. But Ferris is a fighter. Though belated, he won't be beaten. And once he's joined the others in the great outdoors, there's no stopping Ferris's fighting spirit. But all this energy expended is just fine with Mom Olive, who gets a break for once. Until she realizes, somehow she's got to get this crowded crew of pups back inside. Mom Olive is enjoying some peace and quiet and a good book indoors. While outdoors, the 13 pack of pups are enjoying their books. Maybe a little too much. All except good little Cleo, who consumes her knowledge at a gentler pace. But 13th Pup Ferris is tardy to the reading party. And when he arrives, all the books have been checked out. Of course, little fighter Ferris tries to even out the print distribution. But when that doesn't work, Ferris is forced to write his own plucky little tale of adventure. Puppy story time leads easily to sleepy time. And when mom's session is over, she's rather relieved to find all 13 terrier tots tuckered out. <laughs>